Launch Complex 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base off the coast of California. Polar launches today will actually be sending our satellites to a 53 degree inclination. And you'll notice the large nose cone at the top of the rocket. This is called the satellite fairing. The fairing houses the 52 Starlink satellites and protects them until the vehicle is outside the Earth's atmosphere, at which point the fairing separates to expose. Countdown, both the first and second stages are nearly fully loaded with 1 million pounds of kerosene fuel and liquid oxygen. Those little uh, white clouds venting from the side of the booster are from the TE LOX line. Both the first stage and second stage should finish loading propellant about a minute apart from one another, with the first stage finishing up at about T minus three minutes in just a few seconds here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9, go Starlink! Angle's pushing down range. Stage 1 chamber pressures are nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base, carrying our stack of 52 Starlink satellites to orbit. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure, which we should see in just a few seconds Falcon here. Falcon is supersonic. Max Q. We did just pass through Max Q. Now we will have three events happening in quick succession. First, we will have main engine cutoff or MECO, followed by stage separation and second engine startup one. Now first, main engine cutoff or MECO is where all nine of the M1D engines shut off to slow the stage down in preparation for stage separation. This is where the first stage and the second stage separate with stage one starting to make its way back down to Earth for landing, while stage two continues on its journey to orbit. And that chill has started. Now the third event is second engine startup one, and this is where that single MVAC engine on the second stage lights up and propels the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. Just a few seconds after Second engine startup one, there will also be fairing deployment, so you'll want to keep an eye out for that. Miko. State separation confirmed. And back ignition. You just saw stage separation, main engine cutoff, and second engine startup one. There fairing you, separation confirmed. There you can see the fairing halves popping off, revealing our 52 Starlink satellites. We have had successful fairing deployment. And again, SpaceX has reflown Falcon fairing halves since November of 2019. And again, that was our third flight for one of those halves and the fourth flight for the other. We will be attempting to recover those halves once again when they return to Earth. Now, as stage two heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit, stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back down to Earth. The first is the entry burn, where three of the M1D engines will reignite, and this helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn, and this is a single engine burn, 
that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on our drone ship. If you're just catching up with us, we have had a successful launch of Falcon 9 from Vandenberg Space Force Base, and you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9's second stage as it delivers our Starlink payload to orbit. Stage 1 is currently making its way back to our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is stationed in the Pacific Ocean. Now the Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. And in contrast, the MVAC engine that you see there is optimized for 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. The main difference...